Hmm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised I don't look more like a tomato because I just did the craziest gym session ever. I had the last two days off, like off the gym, so I was feeling a little bit like, mmm blobby like what am I doing with my life how am I gonna do project comeback you know when you don't train for like two consecutive days you just feel a little bit like <clears throat> that's how I was feeling so this morning I got up I had a new mentality I implemented my little mantra don't think just do I don't condone applying this to every aspect of life because that could be very dangerous but in terms of the gym it is golden it is a golden rule don't think just do just get up you're half asleep like even if your eyes are kind of closed put your clothes on get to the gym you're there you have to train it was a full body conditioning slash strength session so I am having a specific split like a workout split that I will talk more about in a next episode so I'm doing like a heavy leg session a light leg session conditioning so if you are interested in knowing my split comment below and I will include that in the next vlog okay following on from my last vlog at the end of that vlog we met here in my bathroom and I was showing you a skin update I got so many kind comments and messages about my skin because if you've been following my channel for a while you'll know I have a history with hormonal acne I'll put some pictures up here of what my skin used to look like I suffered with really deep cystic painful pimples I had blackheads whiteheads my entire skin was just super congested so I have worked for years internally externally I've done a whole bunch of things to heal my hormonal acne so I did make a skincare routine I will link that in the description bar below if you haven't seen that go and watch that so pretty much my skincare routine is that I've just made a few slight changes which honestly I think has just made my skin a little bit more glowy and radiant so usually if I do a morning gym session I wake up and I don't wash my face I like to wash my face twice a day once in the morning once at night so I do go to the gym with no makeup on I've got nothing on now just a little bit of mascara because I had no sleep so I wanted to look alive and now I'm going to do my morning cleansing routine step number one is warm water just getting my skin really warm and my pores open and ready to absorb all of the products I'm about to put on it there's not a lot of brands where I will use multiple products from their range I usually use like one brand serum one brand cleanser but honestly I think this is the most products of one brand that I own so this is bohemian skin I just found it on Instagram and this is their gel cleanser. I actually got my sister to start on it as well because her skin has been playing up a little bit. So that's my skin brush. I just put like a little, just a little bit bigger than a pea size amount. In terms of a cleanser, if you feel like once you've washed it off, your skin is really tight and pulling and it feels like you've stripped off all the oils, it's probably a little bit too intense for your skin. So find something natural. Maybe you need some more hydrating ingredients in there. Everyone's skin is different. I would say mine's kind of combination dry maybe I used to say it was combination oily but I think it was just because I had hormonal acne so I was like oh my skin must be oily but I think it's maybe more on the dry side and sure when I wash this off my skin does feel like a little bit tight but not like drying like when you used to use things like proactive I can't believe I used to use that PS that so doesn't work rinsing it off and then I pat my skin dry when I was younger I used to like pool at my skin and I would exfoliate so hardcore and now if you want that youthful glowing young looking skin you need to be delicate with it in my skincare video you would have seen that again I'm using the bohemian skin purifying toner in that video I put it on a cotton bud and put it around my skin if I'm lazy or running late I will just put it on my hands and pat it into my skin someone actually commented and said that you shouldn't drag anything over your face even if it's just a cotton bud so I read that comment and just experimented with just putting it on my fingers and tapping it on my face it's just so much easier and I feel like it still works I know this is like not the way that a lot of people use toners but in the morning if I'm running late and I don't cleanse some mornings I don't cleanse by the way if I haven't trained and I go straight to a toner everyone's different but if I over cleanse my skin I will break out so some days I just start this with step number one I use my vitamin B serum you guys know this I'm obsessed with it and then my next product is my new integration which I feel is making my skin really bright I suppose look really radiant that's the word I'm looking for I think one of my favorite skincare products is like vitamin serums and oils so so I was using a vitamin C serum in that last video but it was a little bit sticky I would get random pieces of like fluff stuck to my skin or my makeup would kind of catch in weird places so when I was reordering my cleanser and my toner I saw that bohemian skin did a C serum it's called rejuvenating HYC serum 
It is so good. It's one of the only vitamin C serums that I've found that doesn't leave me sticky. They use sea buckthorn and I love sea buckthorn so much that I've actually put it in Body Bloom, which is my inner health and beauty powder with Tropeka. I'm just so picky with skincare. So when I looked on the back and saw they had sea buckthorn and they really hero those kind of ingredients. Vitamin E, C, hyaluronic acid. Love hyaluronic acid, especially if you want to get that youthful glow. I just love this. So I would recommend this to someone who feels like their skin is a little bit dull. I don't want to use the word dead, but you know, sometimes you wake up and you're like, I just look dead. That's when I'll use a C serum. I mean, I use it every day, but that's when I notice the difference if I feel really dull and dead. And then another change I've done in the first video, you would have seen that I did the oil and then the moisturizer, but the oil molecules are too thick that nothing else can penetrate the skin. So I'm doing now moisturizer first. Yuck, I feel so gross doing this not in the shower because I'm like sweaty and I smell. But you know, I'm here for the people. I'm here to help you out. Daily rejuvenating serum. One, two, three, four. I normally do four, but I'm gonna do five because I feel like my skin's a little bit dry today because it's so cold outside in Sydney. Oh my goodness, I don't like it. I'm a summer gal, you know? Okay, here's the thing that I've been doing for like three weeks now, morning and night. I use a jade roller. I actually got gifted this by like a random PR company and I was a bit skeptical. I was like, well, whatever, I'll just give it a go. Honestly, I don't fully understand how it works. Like I get this the whole lymphatic drainage thing, but I don't get like the whole jade stone thing. Essentially what I do is I start on my cheeks using this big roller and I push it in an upwards motion. It's supposed to help drain your face, getting the lymphatic system pumping. In the morning it's nice and cold, like our apartment's freezing. I feel like it like tightens my pores as well. Oh my gosh, look how tired I look today. Fox is just like not sleeping. This kind of reminds me of like that old wives tale of like putting spoons, you know, you put like freezing cold spoons on your eyes because this is cold. If you live in a cold apartment like me, that's kind of what happens. Yeah, that is the two differences in my skincare routine. Well, the three, the vitamin C serum, the reversed application of the moisturizer and the oil, and then the jade roller. And my skin has honestly never been better. But anyway, I'm gonna get into the rest of the vlog, which is all about food, grocery shopping, meal prepping, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I wonder, I wonder if the camera can see Fox in no, the background. No chance. Fox is obviously sitting in the back. We're going to the grocery store now. And I have a feeling we're gonna have to go to two because there's this specific turkey that I love, but like no one does it. I don't know why. So I'm going to take you guys around the grocery store, show you how I shop, what I buy, especially when I'm on Project Comeback. Try to really stock up my fridge with groceries rather than snacks. I'm a snackaholic, we know this. Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanna make sure I have enough vegetables, healthy sources of protein, and I like yeah. to go home and prepare that. Our Smart. fridge is so barren at the moment. Barren. Like there is like not barren, isn't that a good word? That was good, that's you why like I that one? repeated it. Yeah, <laughs> back up. <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for the backup, brother. <laughs> Freaking barren, man. Yeah, Baza. Super bass. My stomach is barren of abs. Because we have no fruit at the moment. I feel like that's a go-to snack is the green apple. Green, good love cold good green, green apple. apple. Or banana, banana. I love, I love all fruit. Except rock melon. Oh. Cantaloupe. <laughs> what is rock melon? What is, ro what is this song? Oh. I've tried everything in health and fitness. I feel I've tried the whole raw vegan thing. Plant-based, I did keto, I did meal prepping, I did if pitch macros, I counted calories. I've done all that stuff. I've come full circle. I'm like, just an intuitive eater now, just like healthy. I eat a paleo based diet. Do you know your work is on? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's annoying me. Do you even know how to drive? <laughs> yeah, get back to what you're saying. It was something about food. Back to the serious uh, I was project bored comeback. With it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't just a normal vlog, these episodes are supposed to help people. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Can Where you? do you come from? All right, I'm just going to cut the frame. Cut Kurt out of this. Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is Sarah's day. It's just my channel. I'm here still. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried meal prepping, okay? If you're a person who is like super, super short on time, like morning job, like you're a swim coach, and then you go to uni all day, and then you work at a bar, and like you literally have no time, you're never at your fridge, totally. I get it. Meal prep. Or if you like meal prepping, that's fine. I always find myself looking at my meal preps in the fridge in their festy little containers thinking you suck yeah i think the same i like to prep food separately yeah i don't know it's just weird like i like to prep my sweet potato and i can freeze that or i can put it in the fridge i like to prep my turkey i like to prep some boiled eggs i like to cut up vegetables so everything is in the fridge and it's kind of like a pick and mix yes a pick and, a pick and mix a pick and mix and oh that's too bad <laughs> <laughs> welcome to my pick and mix Everything has been cooked freshly, 
maybe a week earlier. <laughs> but it's still okay. <laughs> yeah, if you want salmonella. <laughs> and how easy, when you're craving an Irish bowl, you open up the fridge and there's like cooked sweet potato, turkey, cut up vegetables. I heard that makes sense. I really love to prep food, not meals. And then I'm gonna take you guys home with me. We're gonna cook it all up. I'm gonna show you how I freeze it or refrigerate it. I don't count calories, I don't count macros. I listen to my body, I eat intuitively. Fox is gonna like me. me. No, because I'm actually the funny one. Yeah, but you don't like camping, surfing, any no. adventure sports. No. You don't like anything besides uh, cooking and cleaning. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like cleaning. I like having a clean house. She likes cooking then. That's about it. <laughs> and eating. And eating. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm not done. See you in the shops. When <laughs> You're making Fox cry. No, he just didn't like us like stopping. So Alright, I need to go. This sun is literally making me want to punch myself in the face. <laughs> Because you're being ridiculous. It's on our no, that trolley that I wanted is gone. Oh, now she took the other little trolley. There's no other trolley. Quick. Good work, says. What is this? Avocado for ants. We normally bring these little fruit bags that we put it in. We forgot, we forgot all our bags. Yeah. This is what happens. Favorite sauce of fat, avocado. I put it in my breakfast, my nourish bowls, my dinner, everything. Avocado transition. No, 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 you didn't what? hit the avocado on the, oh. the lens. Now keep in mind, usually my trolley would be a lot more colorful and full. But right now I'm on an elimination diet for Fox. He's really sensitive to my breast milk, so if something is setting him off, so I really recommend filling your trolley with lots of colour. So like red, purple, yellow, green, everything. Right now I can't really have anything red, like no tomatoes, no red apples. So um just keep that in mind for this grocery haul, but usually I will get loads of vegetables. That's a disclaimer. Blame Fox, not me. It's your fault. Two? Yeah, two. Where's the kale? Okay, that ain't me. This one. No. Kale oh. leaf spinach. Yeah, yeah. Moment of truth. Do they have the turkey? Turkey hunt. <laughs> <laughs> See what we can find. Keep walking like that. Keep walking like that. They have turkey strips. I love these. Let's get two of them. Pram cam again. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes. <laughs> Stuck to the rafters, they are. It means 98% yes. fat free. There you go. Yes. 100% turkey. Breast thigh. Breast thigh. Oh, is that the difference? Oh my. I I told, I've told you this like six times. You don't listen. <laughs> I love healthy tacos, nachos. I love Mexican. And I also love meatballs. Like making my own meatballs. I get the grass fed beef. So I'm going to get two. Hmm? Yes. Scrambled egg addiction. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with scrambled eggs with chicken right now. It's my favorite coconut yogurt. So yummy for dessert and breakfast and just like snack. Apple cider vinegar with spirulina. Normally I get the bragged one from the healthy store, but because we're here. I'm looking for these crackers that I'm obsessed with. This with like some tuna and tomato and salt and pepper on top. Oh my gosh. Let's get the pita seed. But there's also these other crackers that I love more. But I don't, again, I don't know if this will even have it. They've impressed me so far. Ready? From downtown. No, no, just straighten the trolley. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Every single day after school, I would eat a packet of these without a doubt. My mom would get so mad because she'd buy them for like nachos and I would eat the whole thing. <laughs> also like hemp milk from the health food store. They don't have any. Wait, they Should we get a few more coconut milks? I've been drinking that a bit. Hello. They've got the crackers I like. <laughs> You're far too excited about food. Oh my god, these are so <laughs> Guys, I'm obsessed with these. Yeah, they're so good. Are they healthy? So this one, yeah. So this is just sunflower seeds. Fluffy, fluffy seeds, fluffy seeds, and then sunflower seeds for my 
How good? So good. And then these ones are low FODMAP. And like they're just good plain, but if you want to like dip them in hummus or dip them in salsa, and they're delicious! <laughs> Carmen's, Carmen's crackers spoke to me. And Woolworths and turkey. I love mustard. Giant Aussie mustard. mustard. Cause I'm a mum now, I stock up. I'm all about making healthy food yummy. And it's all about spices in your condiments. We love cumin seeds. And if you followed my channel since day one, you'll know I love tuna. Number one, it's so easy, so quick. You just like open it from the can, add some spices, add it to a nourish bowl. It's affordable and I think it's delicious. I feel like you're a person who either loves or hates tuna. Yeah, I love, love it. it. I'm a spring water tuna girl and I add my own like flaxseed oil, salt, pepper, spices. Mm. So good. I'm gonna try that. Oh, no, you're not. You need the whole packet. This is what she does every single time. Well, you know what? The whole packet's gone. Okay, welcome to the food prep section of this vlog. As you can see, I have Fox strapped to my stomach. I was trying to prepare all my food and he just wouldn't stop crying. So he's a mama's boy and I secretly love it. So the only way I could get him to stop crying was to strap him to my stomach. So he is pretty much a part of this whole scene, I'm pretty sure. As I mentioned before, I don't meal prep, I more so food prep. I just love to open my fridge and have everything accessible and it really encourages me to maintain my healthy diet. There's nothing worse than being starving, opening up your fridge and there's nothing there. That is when you tend to fall off the healthy bandwagon. You go out and get some food that's not so healthy. So I always like to have some chopped up cubes of sweet potato in the fridge ready to go. And if I prepare enough, I do love to freeze it as well. So I'll just freeze it in little Ziploc bags. So when I was pregnant, I actually prepped honestly like 20 sweet potatoes and I would put three of them in the fridge because I knew I could smash through that in like two days. And then the rest of them I would put in little Ziploc baggies, put in the freezer. So just to reiterate again, I do not count calories. I don't track my macros. However, I am mindful of what I put into my body. For instance, in the morning, if I have, let's say a protein shake, I know I should probably put some banana in there for a carbohydrate. I might put some almond butter or some coconut yogurt in there for a healthy source of fat. I honestly think it's really important to understand protein, carbs and fats. But for me personally, I don't like to track them because it makes me think of food as numbers. And I would rather just listen to my body, listen to its cues, assess if I'm hungry and just yeah, eat intuitively, but be mindful. So this was my first time preparing quinoa this way. I just wanted to test it out. And honestly, I can vouch that it is amazing. It's so, so easy. I'm trying to embrace my inner mom and I feel like my mom always uses her slow cooker. So I was thinking, I'm gonna try to cook my quinoa in a slow cooker. So first, rinse it all off. If you don't rinse it, it does taste a little bit bitter. You add double the water to whatever quinoa you add. So one cup of quinoa equals two cups of water with a crack of pink salt. Now look, I did Google this. It said to cook on low, for like two to three hours. I put it on low for like mm, 45 minutes, then I cranked it up to higher for probably another 50 minutes, and that was perfect. So I just fluffed it up with a fork. That's kind of how I did it. And it's time for protein. As you guys saw in the grocery store, I got way too excited about this turkey mince. I don't know why, I just love it. It tastes so much more moist and fresh and delicious than chicken mince to me. As you just saw, I just put salt and pepper on this, but I'm just making it basic. So you can either leave it with salt and pepper and add it to your salad, and then I just store it in this glass container and pop it in the fridge. And usually, honestly, I consume this within two days, I probably wouldn't leave it more than three days in the fridge. So I know that is super basic, just sweet potato, quinoa and turkey, but honestly, I cannot tell you how helpful that is throughout the week. Obviously, you can see I haven't prepped any sources of fat. I just like to make sure I have them on hand. So for instance, avocado, flaxseed oil, walnuts, coconut oil. So that is going to wrap up episode four of Project Comeback, all about my food prep and my shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below of what you guys want to know for the next Project Comeback episode, episode five. I might talk more about my split and my workouts, but I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you guys are too. And I'll talk to you guys in my next episode. Bye.